Now, I don't really know what has gotten into them lately, but this here is Clay's fifth hotfix in about as many weeks, everyone. Released just yesterday, it is actually quite noteworthy, and once you start combining it with another random update from the start of this month, plus a big time bug fix update from the end of the last, we've got something here. Perhaps nothing as huge as the last two hotfixes and their out of nowhere offline DLC support, wicker bottom tweaks, and a bit more, but still. Still, I think people should probably know a couple of these things. But I also want everyone to know that I'm not crazy. Let me explain. A while back, I did a video on earthquakes or something of the sort, and went out about how they used to cause blue monkeys to return home, and apparently it had been taken out of the game because I wasn't able to show it. Not only that, I could have sworn that they dropped all of their stuff when returning home for whatever reason, however even that was up in the air. But after today though, both of those things are fixed and true. Splue monkeys will respect earthquakes and return home while also dropping whatever they're wearing in the process. Oh, they will also now leave their homes when it's ablaze too, as that mechanic was also done broken for a while. But you know what mechanic wasn't broken, but was always questioned? The spawning of blue hounds from hound mounds. For you see, red hounds have a 20% chance to spawn from them in their respective seasons, and that has always been the case. Blue hounds, however, spawned only from us hitting hound mounds, and yeah, it was a thing. And it might still be to a degree, but these hotfixes today have made it to where our icy companions here now also share that 20% chance to be released from these mounds come winter and spring. And why did it take all these years to make this change, you ask? Great question. For now though, just enjoy the extra chances at some blue gems, I suppose. And lastly... Well, the last gameplay segment that I'm choosing to show you, that is. Wendy players rejoice, as your ghastly sister will no longer trigger spiders and their sticky webbings. Yup, that's it. That's the notes, but I do feel like it's actually kind of a big one. And like I just said, everyone, that was simply the final in-game footage for the day. There is still plenty more to talk about from not just these hotfixes, but even the ones I covered a couple weeks ago, too. A ton of bug fixes that occasionally turn out to be pretty decent gameplay tweaks instead, visual changes to please the eyes, and more awaits. So I will not only be leaving links to these releases, I will toss in the others as well, as I wouldn't be surprised if you missed them, as I nearly did myself. But thanks for watching folks, well wish it to all. I hope these little update videos about random little updates dropping for this game nowadays are pleasing to you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!